Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. In San Joaquin County, Michael Pennon and Carrie Dominguez are now in custody, charged with child abduction. Police had been looking for them for nearly a week after they failed to show up to turn their three children over to Child Protective Services. The children are okay. Butte County parents in jail tonight accused of child endangerment. They took their child to the hospital with possible opioid poisoning. A search of their home later turned up meth and drug paraphernalia, including rainbow fentanyl. The child was given naloxone and is recovering. Kaiser and the National Union of Healthcare Workers announced today they have reached a tentative agreement. The union represents some 2,000 mental health workers across Kaiser's Northern California region. Members now have two days to vote on the agreement and end the strike. A new lawsuit filed by the federal government claims healthcare giant Cigna submitted false and invalid diagnoses to artificially inflate the payments it would receive for providing insurance coverage to Medicare Advantage plan members. It allegedly happened during home visits, structured to record more expensive diagnosis codes. Ongoing Russian attacks in Ukraine are increasingly focusing on water and power targets. Ukraine's president says a third of the country's power stations have been destroyed, causing massive blackouts. Lafarge, a French industrial company, pleaded guilty today to providing material support to terrorism. The company paid millions of dollars to ISIS to keep its cement plant in Syria operable. The plant is now shut down. Investigators have a person of interest in custody in a quadruple murder investigation. They are not yet calling him a suspect, but they say he has important information. The four victims were found shot and dismembered in an Oklahoma River. Two people are dead after a small plane crashed into a car dealership in Marietta, Ohio. Both victims were on board the plane and there were no other injuries. The cause is under investigation. New government data shows 11 people died in crashes involving vehicles using automated driving systems in a four-month span. Ten of the deaths involved Teslas. The 11th involved a Ford pickup. Senior administration officials say President Biden plans to release 15 million barrels of oil from the U.S. Strategic Reserve, a response to recent cuts announced by OPEC nations. The Strategic Reserve is at its lowest point since 1984. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.